This is Twit. I do have a story that's actually very, very, well, in some ways it's similar. Uh, it, it definitely ties into some of the same threads. Uh, and that is um, on its FOSS, um, someone wrote an, uh, an opinion article about Google Chrome and Chromium and the fact that, uh, well, we've moved into this world where there are basically two browsers. There's Firefox and there's everything based on Chromium. And Google Chrome, according to this author, um, John Paul Worthschild, um, Google Chrome is beginning to sweat bullets because they are losing Chrome share to Chromium browsers. So you've got Chromium itself, you've got Brave, um, Microsoft Edge is now based on Chromium. And they've had this this strategy for, for years now where they they take the Chromium open, Google takes the Chromium open source software the that they really do most of the work on. And then they have their proprietary features that they build into it and distribute as, you know, the Chrome binaries. Well, apparently there were some of those features that the the hooks and the APIs were left in Chromium to the point to where uh, Chromium on Linux and uh, some of these other platforms were able to use them, things like uh, click-to-call um, and some of the syncing features that were, according to Google, only ever supposed to work on Chrome. And Google discovered this and went in and made the necessary changes to to block those features from Chromium. And it kind of had a chain reaction where apparently some of the people packaging Chromium for the various Linux distributions uh, specifically kind of stopped and said, well, is this even worth it anymore if Chrome, if Google is going to start removing features out of Chromium, where does it where does it stop? And I just I thought that was interesting to look at and to kind of think about this. For for one thing, I don't know that it's a. I use Chrome and I I love the features that are in Chrome, but one could observe that it's maybe not a good thing that we are approaching the world again where there's only one major browser. Um, but it's also interesting because you do you once again you have this. Uh, it's not a conflict of interest, but it's. Um, not necessarily aligning interests between yeah. Google Chrome, the business, and Google Chromium, the open source project. And I think it's interesting to see, you know, as they try to work these issues out and to watch where it's going to go. Yeah, it is interesting. And it, it, what's also interesting, like, so people who are going to listen to this later won't see, you know, what was on, just on the screen. And it's this very bold uh, heading, Google only supports open source when it benefits them. <laughs> and it's, um, I don't know, I think that's, I think that's the root of the controversy, for sure. Yep. But at the same time, you have these people that are putting their resources into the open source project, and they are a business, yeah. and they've got to make money. And so it's it's just, it's difficult, you know? we It's one of the things that we ask just about every project. It's one of the things that we'll ask today, the project that we'll talk to. How do you guys make money with open yeah. source? Because it's something that, in some ways, we still haven't figured out all the way. I agree. Yeah, I mean, and, and I have I come from a company that puts a lot of money into an open source project. I work for a company called Acquia that that funds a lot of Drupal um, contribution, mm -hmm. and and I've yet to see an open source project that isn't um, that isn't heavily weighted, uh, you know, in terms of contribution from one company. 